to create a church and pastor in the name of Jesus. Amen. So um, my testimony um, began about, I think, three weeks ago. So pastor was speaking about how he got a report that a lot of people from this church are not working. Mm. So from how he spoke, it truly hurt him. Amen. So he started praying for everyone who's not working. And he prophesied that um, this coming week, you are going to start working. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shalka Diskabra. They gave me a list and they said, we have so many people here who are unemployed. It can't be. In this church. Not this one. You come here, you work just like that. Do you agree with me? Start to work now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I decree work for you, employment for you. Begin to work. Are you hearing me? Just take it like this. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just take it. Take the job. Take it. Take the promotion now. Take it. Take it. Receive it. So, um, the very same week, uh, I got a call. Um, these people said, Yo, we received your CV, so we have such latest you and to come to work with us. Oh. Are you available? I was like, yeah, I'm available. <laughs> Amen. And <laughs> Within the same week. Within the same week, amen. So um, they called again five minutes time. They said, you know what? We have looked at your CV again. And we think, you know, you're not fit for this position. Mm -hmm. You're fit for a better position. Ah, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, um, yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> as Pastor would say. Gimudimu. Amen. So, amen, amen, prophet. Um, so, they said, okay, we'll call you. Uh, we'll just, we'll have to wait for your, uh, we'll wait for an email to let you know where will be stationed and so on and so on. But they tear it. Mm -hmm. They never came through. Mm -hmm. So last week, I received another call. Mm -hmm. And in this call, they said, uh, we need you for an interview. Mm -hmm. So it was this past Thursday. So um, I went for an interview on this past Thursday. And while we were still in the interview, it was not even an interview. It was a conversation. Like, amen. Speaking, amen. So, and they were like, you know what? Looking at you, it's like you're not even fit for this position. Again. Uh, again. You know, like, <laughs> that this, this, this is not where you're supposed to be. Mm. They said, theoretically, if we have, you had to choose mm. uh, either the back office or the front lines, where will you choose? Mm. I was like, I'm more into operations. Mm. So I'll rather go into the back office. Mm. They were like, oh, okay. So they continue uh, with the in uh, interview. And then the very same day on Thursday, I received a, an offer letter. So, <laughs> amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> amen. Amen. So, with the offer letter, it was not the position that I applied for. Yeah. It was not the position that they think I might be fit for. <laughs> 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 amen. So, Haya, this is now like what? The third time? The, th the second the time now. This is like the second time now, but the same different company, but. Both of them, they saw like, you know what? You are not fit for this one. You are fit for the other one. So this one, they came through. They gave me an offer letter. And possibly uh, Monday or Tuesday, I'll be starting. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Woo! Whoa! Can I tell you something? If you're a visitor, the children of this house are so spoiled. Their interviews have turned, they are not interviews anymore. Whether it's for the bursary or whatever, or, or work, people don't get interviewed. They have discussions. And they never walk out disappointed. They always walk out with more. 